This is a Kali dog, and this is Toko the Kali dog, dubbed Toko the human dog on multiple media outlets and becoming increasingly popular for indistinguishable from a real bird border collie. Inside this hyper-realistic costume is a person who's living out their dream of always wanting to be an animal. In today's video, we'll be taking a deep dive into this human dog mystery and seeing just I've talked about this before for maybe like a year. There was something called pet play that was a big fetish that everyone was making fun of for a while. And I was really interested in the, the whole, like, goofiness of it. So there was a big viral video of a guy who got, like, a $10,000 dog mask made for himself in a costume. And then he shouted out a website. And I was like, what the fuck? How many people, like, how could there be more than just one guy? So I went to the site and I made an account just to read the posts. That shit was wild. That shit went hard. Just how close we can get to finding out who this person really is. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And if I could please have your genius. for just 10 seconds, and then we'll get right into the video. I'll let you know when 10 seconds is up because we're gonna have a little red bar right here. We have a winner collection over at EarlBusinessNexus.com, which includes this high quality denim jacket. And Jesus we have some sensei. other new designs, so make sure to go check out the website. And also my first ever album ear candy is premiering on this channel on January 26th at 6 p.m. PST. And it's gonna be on all streaming services. So make sure to Let's turn go. on post notifications. Then you can turn them off after, I really don't care. But yeah, that's it. Is the red bar over? Let's get started with the video. So, where did Toko come from? It all started from on April Pet Play. 11th on Twitter when this tweet was posted. It had a video attached and read, I ordered a costume. Thanks to you, I was able to fulfill my dream of becoming an animal. As I'm recording this, the Twitter video has 1.9 million views, and the topic alone has garnered tens of millions of views on TikTok. Thanks, but Star. I'm getting ahead of myself. This tweet was actually a reply to Zepit's tweet, which was them revealing the costume for the customer. Zepit is an art studio that specializes in figurines, animatronics, bodysuits, 3D modeling, and robotics. They usually get commissioned for films, ads, amusement parks, and other expensive reasons. Can you just Their commission a studio read, like that? I made that? a dog modeling suit at the request of an individual. Modeled on a collie dog, it reproduces the appearance of a real dog that walks on all fours like a real dog. Here they also link the section of their website where they give a few more details on the costume itself. So huh? The work that Tuv just showed from them looked extremely high quality. Why does this one look so lazy? I mean, I guess it's a really hard thing to do. Can you just commission some fetish shit from a studio like this? They seem very reputable. I'm surprised they would even take that. Money's money. I guess, yeah, I suppose. Itself, such as the fact that it took 40 days to create, and the production amount was 2 million yen, which translates directly to $15,437.46. That's so much less than I thought that was going to be. Remember, this doesn't mean that the costume was bought for that amount. If the company wanted to make any sort of profit, they definitely upped the price. And for the amount of work and time that went into this, I'm going to guess that the person paid anywhere from twenty dollars to $30,000. Fake TikTok. Before we talk about the person in the costume, we have to talk about the fake TikTok that spread like wildfire. Maybe it's the reason you know about Toko the Human Dog. I don't know December anything about Toko. A TikTok was posted with the caption, half dog, half man. The TikTok attempted to showcase the human dog costume, but spread an incredible amount of misinformation to the over 11.4 million people that viewed it. Not only did they misspell surgery every single time, but they claimed <laughs> that the person in the costume got plastic surgery to look like that and paid $400,000. He eat like dog, walk like dog, and sleep like dog. Looks like you type like one too. Most of the people in the comments ate it up and probably- Fucking true. Day, like that is- happened. It's very easy- That is so- TikTok brain actually just made up every possible piece of information there. Every single one. And misspelled everything. Easy to be tricked on TikTok, and I don't blame anyone for believing this stuff because it's not like everyone is going to go out of their way to research every single TikTok they come across. But hey, I'll do the job for you. TikToks that spread misinformation remind me of that blue emoji image. <laughs> but anyway, who's the person in the costume? Person in the costume. The person in the costume has a main channel named I Want to Be an Animal. The channel only has 22 videos so okay. far, and each is about five minutes Straight into average. the point. I watched every single video on this page, Thanks, and here are some notes I gathered along the way. In their second video, they flip through notes as a form of communicating to the audience. They have a Japanese text at top and English at the bottom, which I found very interesting because why the need for both languages? It just comes across attention-seeking to me, but what's more attention-seeking than paying thousands of dollars for 
a dog costume. Good point. That right? is a very anyway, good point. The cards are simply explaining that they're going to start uploading YouTube videos more often. The flipping of the notes is highly unrealistic, as a dog wouldn't be able to do that unless they were trained to do so. But even so, this human is struggling to the point that they almost tip over just trying to flip the note, telling me they don't care about realism that much if they bend their wrists and arms in a way that a dog can't. Another question <laughs> that is extremely important, how does the person fit in the costume? Well, it's never been revealed, but after looking at the body movements for a while, I think I have the answer. I asked my girlfriend to draw this for me because I'm not an artist, and thankfully she was able to- Oh, he got the blueprints. I am 99% sure this is how a human would fit into this dog costume. <laughs> that didn't even cross my mind. I think he's 100% on the money. That would absolutely explain why his legs keep doing some weird shit and also how the tail moves. He's moving it with his little tootsies. That looks so uncomfortable. It looks so uncomfortable, yeah. Thanks to Resub Zaza, Nate, and Naruto. Wow. Front wrists are way slimmer than the ankles, which leads me to believe that that's where the person's knees are placed. I'm sure there are some bands holding the feet up and maybe some other ones holding the torso up, but we'll never know unless the person reveals it. What about the person behind the camera? It's obvious neither of them want to show their face, but they did accidentally show their reflection in the dog's eye for a couple uh -oh. seconds here. They also do show gotcha. their hands sometimes, and they look slim, which could mean it's a woman behind the camera. The jaw is able to bite down with what I'm assuming is some type of jaw band, but it's so awkward seeing Toko attempt to grab stuff even though they probably can't even see properly <laughs> at all the struggling makes me think the eyes are actually see-through but everything's probably dark and you lose sense of most of your peripherals in the video called rough collie played table tennis they strap a racket to the paw using a hair tie or two the teeth are sculpted exactly like that of a canines i tried to find frames to see through the mouth but it's always pitch black at the end of the sofa video you can damn that's thorough costume panting which is very surprising and leads me to believe that it's just an editing mistake and it went over their head because they're really trying to be anonymous and I'll show you guys the clip, but it comes across just really creepy. God, I hate this Facebook royalty-free music. I mean, it just seems like an extreme body workout to always be on your hands and knees and probably sweating inside the costume. In the video, Why Did I Want to Become a Dog? I'll answer some questions. We get a Q&A. So I'll read you guys some of the most interesting questions and answers. These questions were taken from random commenters and they're answered with some text at the bottom of the screen. Why yeah, did you want to become brish. a dog? I have had a vague dream of becoming an animal since I was a child. Would it be called a desire to change? When I fulfilled that dream, this is how it turned out. Have you ever wanted to be an animal? If anyone else feels the same way, tell me your story in the comments what was the trigger i wanted to be an animal ever why since so <laughs> what was the trigger it's difficult to answer the question why this seems so like this seems so uncomfortable like the position he has to get in to even do this at the very least the pet play people are just dressing up as animals instead of trying to model their whole life around being an animal thanks to the resub baller we're already animals. Oh, wubba lubba dub dub. True. Take that. Facts and logic. He's a prime Verdant. A rough collie. The reason for this is because it's my favorite breed and because of its size. I'm particularly fond of cute quadrupedal animals. Don't you think rough collies are cute? The fact that the size gap with humans isn't large was also a deciding factor. Are you tired of being human? Sometimes it's reported that I'm tired of being human, oh. but I've never said that. How did that happen? Other things were reported incorrectly. Beware of incorrect information. The topic is getting a lot of attention, but how do you feel about it now? I'm very surprised because I didn't expect this to happen. How could this have come from a lighthearted tweet I posted? You never know what life has in store for you and thanks a lot for all your comments i'm sorry i couldn't reply at all i've had a proper look through it thank you it seems to be a hot topic in many different countries i am interested in how i am being introduced to your country if you like let me know in the comments what's going on in your country the person also talks about what countries their videos are most viewed in and admit that they live in japan have you ever been outside not yet if i had the chance i would like to go out but i don't have the courage to do so one of these days i'll make a video of it so just wait and watch what do people around you think in the first place i told people who are really close to me for example if i told the people I work with that I wanted to be an animal and I became a collie, they would look at me funny, wouldn't they? If anyone notices who I am, please don't tell anyone around me. Okay. Video, so, this that's a, well, okay. Not pausing there. That's a little better than I was expecting. I thought 
that they just completely up and changed their whole life to fit this. So it looks like they still work. They still live as a human. I thought the only thing they would do that was still human was like bathe and eat. And then they'd go right back to being the, the Kali. So it looks like this is more of just something they do on their own in some free time. I don't know. It seems kind of, well, I don't know about fetish is fetish like because it's just kind of literally being a dog walking around. Maybe it is a fetish thing. I'm not really sure. Things are the bits, Naruto. Some pet play people, some pet pet, pet play people will use ties to tie their knees together to walk around like this guy. Mm. A hobby. Yeah, I guess it's more of a hobby kind of thing. Very interesting. Wouldn't they? If anyone notices who I am, please don't tell anyone around me. In their 14th video, they started using closed captions instead of editing text on screen. Watching the person in the costume try to climb stairs is so incredibly unsettling. <laughs> it reminds me of that old what the punchy fuck? Japanese commercial. <laughs> Yeah, it looks like something out of the grudge. Which we talked about in this video in case you want to go check that out. But yeah, in the comments they just say they gave up because climbing stairs with a costume on is incredibly challenging. They have custom It looks like it would be. Outside to not get the paws dirty. In their 16th video, they do go outside oh, for wow. a very short amount of time. They get scared of being seen and hear bicycles coming so they panic, pose like a real dog, and walk back into their house when the coast is clear. To be fair, I would I would think it's a real dog if I was just like walking by and I see this, I'd be oh, like, yeah, oh, that's a that video, the dog must be going through rehab or something. Video. Interesting. Must have had an injury. In the video, they present videos that never made the final cut and showed a scrapped jump rope video where Toko was supposed to jump rope. Though oh my god, what a disaster. We get a very that would be rough. -like crawl from Toko for the first time, and it seems like Toko isn't even role playing as a dog at this point, and it's just so so creepy. Oh, that wasn't dog-like at all, yeah. I almost consider this breaking character because of how much it doesn't look like a dog. In their 18th video, they claim they went to a different location to be interviewed by an unnamed broadcast company. Here, they do run into people and interact. The people seem shocked, but overall are happy to greet a human in a dog costume. In their 19th video, they showcase that they can in fact- You can introduce this as a robot. Straw. Like, if, you, if you're embarrassed about it being a human there, you could absolutely introduce this as an animatronic. I would be more inclined to believe that than a person being in there. Just tell me that this is a prototype for Boston Dynamics, and I'd be like, oh, okay, yeah, no, this is pretty impressive stuff. Which means there's an opening in the mouth. They, for some reason, go out of their way to drink three-fourths of the Coke. We, we know you can drink it. But what about eating? Well, in the next video, Toko eats food. Or do they? The camera person serves Toko dog food-shaped toys, and it's just roleplay from here on out. The camera cuts to an empty bowl, and the audience is just supposed to assume it was eaten. The camera person is also confirmed to be a woman with the caption, now she's going to give it to me from her hand. Their most recent video, which is from November 18th, 2022, is a thank you video for 10,000 subscribers. Or Aww. should I say, subscribers? Uh, is, is that on purpose? They really focus on how popular they've gotten and talk a lot about their stats going up. Again, comes off as loving attention. They also mention a live TV interview, which I never found. Perhaps it only aired in Japan and no one has put it online yet. The Twitter account. So browsing the Twitter account, the main one, at Toko underscore Eevee, that had the video blow up, all of their tweets were fairly normal and seemed like Toko was and still is a huge Hey, factor. Pokemon Unite! Man, maybe I beat their ass so hard in Pokemon Unite, they're like, I'm tired of being a human. <laughs> this Grease guy just fucking blasted me. I'm gonna be a dog. I'm tired of this. I used to stomp that battleground. I was so reckless in there. No one was having fun when I was playing. And of the Nintendo Switch game, 
Pokemon Unite. We even got to see a setup picture. Very clean. Keep in mind, that's the only IRL image that Toko has posted. Makes a big tier three. A human? Mod. I don't know Thank how else to that. say it. But uh, we can see their human height here. The bits wolf. We can't actually identify it. I'm sure Good someone's going to do it. Someone's probably going to somehow calculate Toko's height using this image. And if you get it right, I applaud you. Anyway, being a big fan of Pokemon Unite, they actually streamed a ton of it on YouTube. And the best Whoa. part is Toko still streams. In fact, they're more consistent with the streams than the dog channel. But even better is they use a mic in their streams. So that means we get a voice reveal. <laughs> So out of my entire research that I They sounded very happy. I would have imagined that like the person doesn't like being a person, which is why they retreat into like the animal thing. Yeah, no, he's not even like pretending there he's just straight up streaming he's just like a normal streamer and then he has his a uh, side hustle as a dog that i've done here's a quick recap of what we know about the person in the costume they live in japan they always had a dream of being an animal they love the attention they have a camera woman they don't care about <laughs> realism they're a huge fan of pokemon unite this image is the closest irl image they posted this is their voice <laughs> They're very shy about people close to them knowing they want to be a dog, and they're very scared to go out in public. And a little bonus fact that I noticed is that their favorite Pokemon is Eevee. So, is this a case of a person being stupid with their money, or just someone getting what they want because they have enough money? Could mean the same thing. Probably I mean, the Toko latter. isn't hurting anybody besides maybe giving, you know, people some nightmares. I say let Toko do what they please, and we get that creepy entertainment. I might just hit up Zeppa to make me an Earl costume. But yeah, I think we have a right to judge people based He's, he's right, he's right. It's harmless. It on the internet, Very odd, it seems like they but harmless. Attention. But honestly, who cares what you do with your money? You know what they say, YOLO, right? <laughs> But yeah, that's going to be the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching it. I'm sorry for the inconsistent uploads. I really am. I was finishing the album and it's going to be out. So I'm back on the YouTube grind. I know I say I'm back on the YouTube grind a lot, but I'm just going to zip it and just actually show you guys some work. In 2023, I want to make more How's it uh, attention -seeking, specific though? topics. I, usually I guess from the videos, topics, like the dark I, I haven't seen them though. The dark boom of YouTube. I don't know. I just, those were very broad topics. In 2023, I do want to focus on more specific topics. Like, for example, this Toko video. If you guys liked it, let me know if you guys like more specific topic videos. I loved doing research on this, so I hope it performs well. And Ear Candy debuts on this channel on January 26th at 6 p.m. PST. And I'll see you guys yeah, exactly. next time I upload. I think Tub's absolutely right. Probably just a case of a guy having so much money. Why not spend it on something goofy? This. Yeah, I haven't I haven't seen anything about Toko. Pretty pretty strange. Interesting. I think it's sad. I guess it depends. I could definitely see why it would be sad if the guy really doesn't like being human, like he he's like miserable, so he becomes dog. That would be sad. But if it is just a guy who's like, man, I have Fucking twenty thousand dollars lying around. Wouldn't it be cool to have a dog costume? That's less sad, and it's just kind of weird. Thanks to the bits, Dojin. Okay, I haven't seen the videos. I don't know if it is attention-seeking or not. But plenty of people do goofy shit for attention. Literally just for the sake of attention. Wouldn't be far-fetched. Thanks to Prime Tizzy. Not saying that Toko is, but... Things of bits, eggs, and Sylvie. I did play Steel Rising, I didn't like it.
Exactly, it seems harmless. Not bothering anyone. Just a little strange. What's weirder, dressing up as a dog or having two giant dildos? I have six, you swine. And they're called Moby Huches. Have some respect. 